Hello, this is gonna be a tutorial or a little quick fix on how to uh, fix the LNR buttons not working properly on uh, Netplay. So, uh, if your setup is anything like my port 2 setup, where, hold on, let me just plug my controller into port 2, you might notice a problem where when you go into a game, uh, you tap down on the L and R buttons, uh, not completely, but you just tap on them uh, to do like a light shield, and it does not work. So, or well, it wouldn't work. Uh, you'd have to go all the way down uh, to get the full shield, and you couldn't do this, you know, light shield here that I'm doing now. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that real quickly. And all you have to do is go into your uh, net play setup, go in here. Uh, I'll just clear these for now um, and you wanna when you're setting up the first L under the four triggers uh, push down on the L button all the way just before it clicks in so you hear that click just before it clicks in uh, push hit left click L and then click the button and it, instead of access like that it should say button and do the same thing with R push it all the way down just before it clicks and boom Without analog, you just do them normally, where you're not holding L or R at all. You uh, left click to detect the input, and you press them, and it should come up like this: button four, button five, and then the two axes. And now, when you go into a net play game, uh, you should be able to light shield, like you saw in the beginning, uh, beginning of the video. This uh, this can make L canceling, wave landing, wave dashing, attacking, just about anything, a lot easier. He'll do anything. That'll actually put me into a hit stun. Apparently not. <laughs> no, it's still not. Whatever, you guys get the idea though. Uh, it makes life a lot easier, especially when you're uh, playing like, Smash Ladder and whatnot. Uh, it's easier to attack, wave land, wave dash, and whatnot, and yeah, that's, that's about it.